We're joined now by stand-up comedian Tony Hinchcliffe. He's worked as a writer on a bunch of Comedy Central roasts, taking shots at people like Jeff Ross, Martha Stewart. He's also performing this weekend at West Palm Beach Comedy Club. Tony, thanks for joining us. We're ready to laugh after a few days dealing with Dory, and I saw that you were taking some shots at Dory yourself on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> it's not going to stop you from having a show, though, right? No, exactly. I'm excited to be here. The storm has arrived. It's me. And we're going to have five fun shows here at the West Palm Beach Improv. It's exciting to be here. Much like the weather, the people are all in their uh, mid-90s and late 80s. So <laughs> it's, the, I would, it's true. That's true. Now, you do a lot of roasts. Uh -huh. Is there anyone who you've taken on who's too hard to roast, or is everyone roastable? Well, I like to think everyone's roastable. Some people have a better sense of humor than others. You know, you never know what you can get away with sometimes but uh, no everybody has a really good sense of humor um, you know one time I was the only white guy on an entire roast of very we'll call it diverse people <laughs> so it's the proper verbiage keeping it politically correct yeah, yeah I was on the roast of Snoop Dogg and uh, I was the only white guy on the roast and I told a true story about Paul Rodriguez because a few weeks earlier he I introduced myself to him at an airport we were walking the same direction and, uh, and he gave me the cold shoulder, he ignored me. And I told that story on the roast, and then I roasted him relentlessly <laughs> for that, because he thought he was being a tough guy with yeah, me. Yeah, extra was payback. No one's, no one's bulletproof when it comes to roasting. Exactly. So I was actually looking you up online this morning, and I saw that you have a pretty popular podcast going around. Yep, I have a podcast called Kill Tony where uh, me and uh, my comedian friends and guests, we sit down at a table and we watch uh, new up and coming comedians try stand up a lot of times for their first time for only 60 seconds and then we interview them about their lives. So a lot of people that are fans of stand up comedy and that are interested in doing it themselves come out and try and sign up and get pulled out of a bucket and next thing you know they're on stage. Yeah, you have a lot of audience interaction too. Yeah. We yeah. poke fun at everyone and there's a musical element, right? Yeah, there's a big band, Jeremiah Watkins and Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez, Chroma Chris. It's so much fun. They're the best band in the land and uh, we have fun every single week. They're hilarious. Just to go back to why you're here in town, you are going to be at the West Palm Beach uh, Comedy Club starting uh, today through this weekend, right? Yep, the yeah. West Palm Beach Improv. Uh, it's starting tonight, two shows Friday, two shows Saturday. So, uh, yeah, I think there's still some tickets available, so come on out. It's a big, uh, big, giant, massive comedy club, and... Uh, you know, I think that this uh, I think that this city needs a little bit of young edge, a little young darkness to uh, bring them out and wake them up, especially with uh, post Dorian. You know, okay. we made it through. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, before I get in too much trouble, Tony Hinchcliffe <laughs> live at the Palm Beach Improv tonight through Saturday. You can catch him, get your tickets at the door or online. Pleasure to have him in the Thank studio, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. Indeed. <laughs> Heck yeah.